Update, update. I, I make one mistake. I think I said powder co powder coating. Uh, no, I'm talking about anodized. It's it's anodized. It's not powder coated. Okay, it's anodized. Now, I was thinking, you know, why to be in this specific position here, here, and a little bit less here. All right, and then you come here to the screws. What I'm suspecting, I'm suspecting that when you put the suit tank, when you put the lid, the upper one, here, the bolts, it's scratching to the suit tank, it's compromised the anodize, the, the coating that has, and that's why it starts eating it. It makes sense. This was, this was pointing backwards, it was facing to me, and this one, it was like that, that's how I place it. You can see on the video actually, earlier, all right? So if I put it back again in place, oh, come on now, yeah, all right? It was like that, right? Yeah, approximately like that. So the logo was here, was pointing like this. So if you lift it up, what do you see? You see that these two Allen bolts here align perfectly here. So when you're installing it, if you scratch, oh shit, this, when it comes to a new one, I have to see that. When it comes to a new suit tank, if I see any lines here, it's gonna end up to be the same thing. So when you're placing it, if you scratch it, you lose the game with this type of fuel. With a normal fuel or with 10% ethanol or 20% ethanol, you're not going to have any problem. You will not going to have a chance. <laughs> That's what you're going to have. And this, like I said, these are, these are aligned exactly with the Allen bolts here. When it comes to the new suit tank, I have to see that to make sure that you're going to be fine. And you're not going to have a single scratch on the coating. It's, like I said, it's anodized, all right? Small update. Small update, I might watch also the video, also me, because I don't know when we're gonna have. We have, uh, I think, 20 days until the next race. So in today, in 20 days, I should have the suit tank, the pumps already have it here, and to put back in place. Even if the new pump, it comes and has a scratch, a light scratch, let us say, I will gonna use it because don't forget that this suit tank it lasts almost two years. So to make the race, I will gonna put the uh, the new suit tank. If it's been compromised, what we might do? I might I might massage a little bit the Allen bolts, maybe a little bit with a file to have more clearance, or to polish it. We're gonna see what are we gonna do, and if there is any compromise, I have to I have to anodize by my own. I don't know if there is a company here in UAE that's anodizing aluminium to send again. If there is any scratch, we're gonna see about that. You know, they, and again, I might be the one who scratches it while I'm entering it inside. You know, it might be the case. I, I cannot blame anybody for that. It might be installation and... But no, usually you don't rape the seal. I'm not just throwing it in. And now you can tell me it has a space and you can make this move. But I remember that you couldn't make this move when it was new. Because I was the one who fixed it, who put the pumps inside. It came without pumps. <clears throat> so, yep, in any case, like I said, when it comes the new suit tank, I need to have my eyes open and to see if there is any any small if if you if you'll be able to see the aluminium like that, if it's shiny, I like the line that I make here. If you see something like that and it's inside, then finish. You're gonna end up start eating it. We're gonna see, we're gonna find out. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's the update. Thank you.